Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. We're at the OpenStack Summit 2016 here in Barcelona in Spain. And I'm talking with Vanessa Little, who is Senior Manager, Global NFV Ecosystem Architecture at VMware. Vanessa, good to meet you and thanks for talking to us. Thanks so much for having me. I'd like to begin by putting this proposition to you. VMware is very well known. Um, you are a big supporter of the open source community but you don't make a lot of song and dance about it. How do you light under a bushel? Is that for any particular reason? I don't know if it's really for a particular reason, because uh, we are very active in the open source community. We spend a lot of time and effort and resources contributing to the OSM code base, contributing to OPNFV, uh, Etsy NFV as well. And there are a number of initiatives we're members of outside of the Telco NFV community. Um, and we're, we're very active and very supportive of the, the open source community. Let's hope this interview will help boost that to some extent anyway and get the message out there. Let's move on to the, to, to the meat of the piece. I, would, I want to look at, if we can, um, telco and NFV rather than anything else. Let's just focus on that. I know it's an area that you focus on yourself. But let's, let's play to your strengths and, and uh, ask this. Given the context and the rationale you've just been talking about in as far as your concern, VMware is concerned with the telco, we're at the OpenStack Summit. What are you actually showing here? Are you, you're, is it new products? Is it demos? Is it capability? What is it? So here at the OpenStack Summit is the first time the Telco NFV team uh, from VMware has actually had a real live presence. Uh, we're really excited about it and we brought with us four demos that showcase how to not only deploy OpenStack, but use it in a real production environment and go through that whole life cycle and the management and being able to use it in an effective way. As you focus on telco NFV, and the, the approach is different because, of course, carrier-grade NFV is a concept, a newish concept. What do you think, Vanessa, is the difference between carrier-grade NFV and another NFV? So carrier-grade NFV really implies the level of availability and how robust that service is. Because um, in the telco space, you absolutely cannot tolerate downtime. You can't tolerate drop calls. You can't lose packets. You can't have any failures because that is a direct impact, a very noticeable impact to your customers. And so that's really where VMware shines because we already had this carrier-grade platform that we've now integrated with a, with a fully functional open stack build on top of it. So there are four demos, presumably they tell a story. They, they, you start at the beginning and you get a, a whole appreciation of what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. So demo number one takes you through how simple it is to install OpenStack on a VMware platform. It's, it's almost as simple as a one-click provision and it just sort of installs itself and after about nine minutes you go from absolutely no deployment to a fully functional OpenStack deployment. So then the second demo walks you through how simple it is to deploy a workload into that new OpenStack deployment. For this example we use the Clearwater deployment from Metaswitch. So it deploys a full IMS core. We even go so far as to demonstrate that you can make a live call on it to prove that we did what we say we will. And um, it, it walks you through how simple it is to do that because typically onboarding new VNFs has been a challenge for, for people all over the industry, so we walk you through how simple it is to do that. Demo number three takes you through how simple it is to upgrade your OpenStack deployment while it is running with a telco workload. And so we walk you through the live calls going through the platform while we do a one-click deployment and we take you from our OpenStack 2.5 build to OpenStack 3.0 without dropping a call or missing a beat. The final demo, the fourth demo, walks you through how simple it is to monitor and manage all of these workloads after they've been deployed in the OpenStack environment. And so we show this really tight integration with the VMware tools like vRealize Operations Manager, vRealize Log Insights, and our new vRealize Network Insights platform to show you exactly what your deployment is doing all the way from the infrastructure layer right through to the application layer. So all of them together walk you through what it's like to not only deploy OpenStack, but to live with it in the wild. What has the reaction been in terms of service providers and your clients and customers when they see the capability that you now have? It's interesting. Uh, most of them are surprised that we have an OpenStack build. And um, when we walk them through what the capabilities are and they see that you can have all the resiliency of a traditional VMware topology with all the flexibility and functionality of OpenStack, uh, we're, it's very well received and, and really, really getting, uh, gaining a lot of traction and popularity in the market. Excellent. Vanessa Little, thank you very much. Thank you.